everybody, it is Saturday. That means it's time to imagine it. I'm here with the chief scientist at the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. He told me to put on my safety glasses, so I will oblige. What are we doing today, Carl? We're doing it. One of my favorite uh, demonstrations okay. is called Elephant's Toothpaste. <gasps> It's the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Okay. I thought we'd do a little twist on it today. All right. Um, I thought we would um, talk about rates of chemical reactions as well. All right. Okay. So, and really all that means is I've taken some hydrogen peroxide <laughs> here and put it in, on ice. Okay. Okay. So inside here, we've got a thermometer and we are at about zero degrees C. Wow. Okay. Okay. So pretty cold. Yeah. So I'm just going to add this one to my graduated cylinder here. Uh, I don't know. That and looks, is this souped up good. hydrogen peroxide, not the stuff we'd have in our exactly, cupboard? Exactly, exactly. This is 35% hydrogen peroxide. Okay. So what you have at home is probably around 3%. All right. And that 3% stuff, the, the thing about hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, is that it's always decomposing into water and oxygen gas. Hmm. So if you've had that brown bottle in the back of your cabinet for more than six months, mm -hmm. it's probably just water. Really? Now they, they do add chemical stabilizers to make it last a little bit longer. Okay. Um, but it does break down over time. Now this guy is at about 50 C. So we got okay. about a 50 degree temperature difference. Wow. So I'm going to add this one as well. So this is going to be our hot and cold okay. elephant's toothpaste. That looks pretty good. And we'll do one last one over here too. So I'm going to just top this one off with the hot as okay. well. So, and so it's possible that we can get, we're going to get a different reaction. Well, that's why we're trying it. Okay. Um, that's why we're going to do the experiment. Okay. So the next thing I need you to add is some food coloring. So okay. take to this, this beaker and pour it right in. Yep. Okay. The whole thing? Just dump the whole thing in. Yep, exactly. So we've added red for that one because that's our Check. hot one. Okay. And I've got some blue over here. This is going to be our cold peroxide. I see where you're going with this. Now, when peroxide decomposes, it, mm -hmm. like I said, it breaks down into oxygen gas and into water. In order to catch that oxygen, we are going to add some soap, some dish detergent. Okay. So go ahead and add the Dawn. We all have this at home. Just okay. Pour that in. When we decompose this using our catalyst, that soap is going to help capture some of that Do I need to reaction. swish? Yeah, give it a little swirl. A little swirl, okay. So we're going to do this one at a time. I'm going to, I'm going to pour mine in and show you the technique. So you just take the catalyst okay. and we're just going to we just dump it in. Now, this was the cold hydrogen peroxide. All right. Most chemical reactions. Rising up. When the reactants are cold, you know, temperature is a measure of thermal energy. And so the reaction is going to proceed relatively slowly here. We are generating gas. We're generating foam. We're getting... You know, a, a nice, beautiful blue color sure. there. Let's compare that with the peroxide, which was warm, okay. 50 degrees warmer. So put this in, and I believe your words were don't dawdle. Um, yeah, okay. just go ahead and pour that one right in. Let's just see what happens. And in this case, the reaction happens oh, wow. significantly faster. This okay. looks like we are at 7-Eleven, and the Slurpee machine <laughs> is having a problem. <laughs> so we're, we're breaking down that hydrogen peroxide. We're capturing that oxygen gas in the foam. And you can feel the, the heat. Yes, yes, wow. you, can, you can see it. Yeah. It's an exothermic reaction. It's giving off quite a bit of energy. Mm -hmm. And I uh, love the colors as well. But <laughs> one other variable we could try would be the shape of our container. These graduated cylinders, that kind of flows up and over and makes kind of like sure. a blob. Yeah. What if we could funnel all these bubbles into Funnel. a flask. Mm. Fla okay. So go ahead and add your food coloring. All right, food coloring. So just pour, pour the whole thing in. Check. That's a nice green. We're going to need some soap to catch our bubbles. So go ahead and add the soap. Soap. Check. Give it a little swirl so we get that soap sort of mixed in. A little swirl. And this is still hot. It's still hot. And just, just because I thought it would be fun, I doubled the concentration of, course you of did. our yeah, catalyst right. here. Okay. So with this one, you're going to quickly pour and then maybe step back. Okay. Don't mm -hmm. dawdle. Got Don't it. dawdle. Yeah. So just dump the whole thing in quickly. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> there you go. So by having that funnel shape, we're able to, you know, that pressure just builds up and launches the foam up into the air. Wow. We're going to have a mess on the ground, And you clearly. know what? You can still feel that heat. It is amazing. You can feel um, the heat. That's okay. Yeah. Exothermic reaction. It's still going. In fact, these guys have slowed down a little bit. But again, the warm hydrogen peroxide still bubbling, decomposing into oxygen gas. I wish there was not so much food coloring in this because I just want <laughs> to, everything wanna play in with the me foam. wants to, yeah, wow, that is really <laughs> well, they're, cool. They're, it's masked by the food coloring. There is still a little bit of iodine in there that didn't break down from the uh, potassium iodide we used as the catalyst. So oh, okay. it'd probably stain your clothes, but really the food coloring would probably do more damage. Interesting. <laughs> to your hands and your clothes.
And, so, and why do they call it elephant's toothpaste? I have to know. Um, actually, I, I know the answer to that. A long time ago, a gentleman by the name of, I believe, Ron Perkins at the University of Wisconsin did a, a collection of demonstrations. And okay. one of the things he did was he did, told a story about chemical reactions happening on a boat. And he came out with a big broom, um, and there was an elephant on board. And one of the things they needed to do was brush the elephant's tooth. Ah. And so they created this film, and he came out with a big toothbrush. I see. Larger kind, than life. Kind of I looks like you. you stepped on a, a big tube of toothpaste. There you go. Awesome. Maybe. Well, you know what, Carl? This is awesome. Super <laughs> fun. Experiments like this happening all the time down at the Imagination Station. It is also Spider, uh, you know, Superhero, superhero Weekend. Superhero Weekend. We've got Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Captain Marvel this oh, weekend. Sweet. Come down and check it out. Really cool. That's how you imagine it.